Hi folks, this is Jay, and I just want to share a little thought concerning Mormonism and present to you, maybe someone will say, look Jay, you, you evangelical Christians, you preach the gospel, but you're always critiquing Mormonism. And I'm offended by this, it, it really, really is offensive because, you know, at the end of the day we're called, you know, Jesus of the Latter Day Saints, we, 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 we're all about Jesus Christ. So how can you say that Mormonism is not true and uh, it's just not right that you're so critical against Mormonism. Well, uh, if you turn to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16, it says this, Who alone has immortality, dwelling in approachable light, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honour and everlasting power. So, the Lord is saying, uh, Paul is saying there that no man can see God. Who alone has immortality, dwelling in approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be honour and everlasting power. Amen. Joseph Smith said that he saw God. And yet here, Paul is saying no man has seen God. So in other words, Joseph Smith was a false prophet. And you need to come to terms with that. That Joseph Smith is a false prophet. He said that he saw God, and it's a direct contradiction of the Word of God that says no man has seen God. It says it there. 1 Timothy 6 16 Who alone is immortality, dwelling in approachable light, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honour and everlasting power?